Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of The Missing. In this week's episode, we're going to be covering the case of Brittany Drexel, a 17-year-old senior out of Rochester, New York, who was on vacation during spring break at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Here's where she was reported missing by her family. We're going to review the information on her case, look at her photographs, and hopefully we can put something together to help identify her and bring her home safely. Also, we're going to be revisiting the case of Tabitha Tudors. April 29th is the sixth year that she's been reported missing. Hopefully by revisiting her case, we can bring some new light to her case and hopefully identify her and bring her home safely. Now, last week, I brought to your attention the cases of two unidentified females that were recovered in the state of Tennessee. Well, this week, I have another case just like that. It's a case of a young female whose remains are unidentified and hopefully we can put together the information by reviewing her case looking at the forensic composite of what she may look like to help bring closure to her case for her and her family. So let's don't waste any more time. Let's get right into this episode of The Missing. Calling all available units, calling all available units. We have a missing child report at the corner of 1st and 2nd Avenue. Respond with emergency traffic. I'd like to open up this episode of The Missing with our first case, and that case is of Brittany Drexel, 17-year-old female out of Rochester, New York, who just wanted to get away and spend some time with some friends for spring break. She decided to go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There she was having fun with her friends, and there is where she went missing. If you will, please take the opportunity and look at her photograph. As I mentioned, she's a 17-year-old female, brown hair blue eyes, approximately five feet tall, weighing 103 pounds. Also pictured here is a photograph taken from a surveillance camera, and she was later identified by her mother in this photograph. She's wearing a very unique top. If you will, take an opportunity to look at the photograph of this top. If you have any information on her or her whereabouts, please feel free to contact the National Center at 1-800-THE-LOST or you can contact the Myrtle Beach Police Department at 1-843-918-1000. Let's work together here on The Missing and bringing Brittany home. Welcome to the great state of Tennessee, Cheatham County to be exact. We're in Cheatham County to introduce to you the case of an unidentified child located here in Cheatham County. If you will, look at the photographs of a clay composite that was designed by a forensics artist to dictate what this child may have looked like in life. In 1981, her remains were located in Cheatham County, and it was approximate that she had been deceased between 6 and 12 months. It was also said that she was between the ages of 14 and 17 years old. If you have any idea who this child may be, or if you were around 1981, and somebody's child or a friend mysteriously disappeared, please don't hesitate to call. As we've always said here on The Missing, a little bit of information could possibly go a long way in an investigator's hands. If you will, contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 800-THE-LOST. Or if you're local in Tennessee, you can contact the University of Tennessee Forensics Anthropology Center and ask to speak to Dr. Lee Gantz at 865-974-4408. Let's work together here on The Missing and bring in closure to her case and possibly closure to her family. The Missing is brought to you in part by Quiznos of Crossville. Quiznos of Crossville. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Toasty. Thank you for taking the opportunity to review the case of Brittany Drexel and to review the information I provided to you on the unidentified child out of Cheatham County. I know that we can work together here on The Missing and put together the information that possibly can close these cases and bring Brittany home safely and identify this unidentified child. Now earlier in the show I said we we're going to revisit the case of Tabitha Tudors. As I mentioned she's been missing for six years. So let's don't waste any more time. Let's review her case.
The case of Tabitha Danielle Tudors begins on the morning of April 29th, 2003, when Tabitha was woke by her father to get ready for school. Shortly thereafter, Tabitha set out, heading to the bus stop. Just a few blocks away from her home, Tabitha never arrived at the bus stop, never got on board her bus, and consequently never arrived at school. No one has seen or heard from Tabitha since. At that point, an intense investigation was set up and law enforcement began questioning the neighborhood. When they came across a little boy that said he saw Tabitha get in a red car, at that point he said once she got in the car, the car turned around and headed away from the bus stop. A tracking team was brought in with canines and the, the canines tracked her scent to 40 feet just before the bus stop. They led investigators to an area in an alley that Tabitha's friend said she would never go to by herself. At that point, police set up an investigation and began looking for Tabitha. With the information at hand, Nashville police had come to the determination that Tabitha only went missing within just the couple of blocks between her bus stop and her home. Since her missing, volunteers, law enforcement, and the media have gotten involved to help bring Tabitha home. Even her brother, with his race car, started Team Tabitha, placing the face of Tabitha on his race car in hopes that a race fan might see her and be able to bring her home. Let's work together here on The Missing to concentrate on Tabitha's photograph, look at the information about her case, and hopefully here on The Missing, we can help her family, the law enforcement, and the media bring home Tabitha Tudors here on The Missing. Well everyone, I'm proud to announce a new supporter of The Missing. A few weeks back, I introduced to you the Quiznos of Crossville, and I introduced to you Dr. Stacy Carlton, the sponsor of our Dr. Stacy Safety Segments. This week, I'd like to introduce to you Hughes Real Estate Services, setting the standard in real estate in Crossville, Tennessee. Its owner, Jeff Hughes, and I began a conversation over the fact that he had read an article about our program and tuned in to see some of the episodes. He said, Scott, I want to be a part of your team. I want to be a part of your team with your viewers and your show to help bring missing children home and educate children and keep them safe. So after a brief conversation, Jeff agreed to come on board as an advertiser of our show. Now his advertising dollars are going to help support our program, help us grow, and help us provide you content from a safety standpoint and from the standpoint of helping missing children. So if you will, welcome with me, Hughes Real Estate Services, selling safe homes and bringing kids home safe. Well, everyone, that brings it close to another episode of The Missing. To recap, we've covered cases of Brittany Drexel, the case of an unidentified child out of Cheatham County, Tennessee, and we revisited the case of Tabitha Tudors. As always, if you'd like to get more information on these cases or review the information that we presented to you in this episode and look at the photographs of these children, you can visit our website at www.themissingtv.com. As always, keep your children protected, keep them educated, and continue to watch The Missing. I'm your host, Scott Davis. God bless.